Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And this is your Royal Daily News for October 18th, 2022. In the province of Limburg, Her Majesty Queen Mathilde of the Belgians participated in the seventh phase of her 50th birthday initiative entitled Let's Move Forward Together for Mental Wellness. This morning, Her Majesty cycled through the towns of Pelt, Lommel, Balen, and Leopoldsburg. Meanwhile, His Majesty King Philippe of the Belgians presented a new banner on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the Commando Center and the Paratroopers Training Center, as well as the 70th anniversary of the Para Commando Regiment. During the ceremony, His Majesty the King presented commando certificates and berets to those who have passed their Para Commando military training. Over 40 years ago, His Majesty the King received the Red Para Commando Beret. Late last evening, Her Majesty Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, in her capacity as the United Nations Secretary General's Special Advocate for Inclusive Finance for Development, arrived in Tanzania to promote financial inclusion. This morning in Kilimanjaro, Her Majesty the Queen heard first-hand experiences from local farmers who are now able to access an affordable digital insurance product called Weather Index Insurance via Acre Africa to mitigate the impact of extreme weather on their finances. The product helps farmers make claims by collecting weather data by satellite and using it to determine settlements. The farmers purchase insurance in low-cost increments via scratch cards, which cost about 1,000 Tanzanian shillings each, 40 cents U.S., and provide 12,000 Tanzanian shillings, about $5 U.S., of coverage, or via their phones using a USSD code. They receive the payment for the claims within 30 days through their mobile wallets. Yesterday morning in Luxembourg City, His Royal Highness Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg, accompanied by the Minister of the Economy, Mr. Franz Foyette, attended the inauguration of the new office of the Luxembourg House of Cybersecurity, LHC, during the 2022 Cybersecurity Week as part of the European Cybersecurity Month Awareness Campaign. On Sunday evening in Biarritz, France, their Royal Highnesses Grand Duke Henri and Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg, accompanied by His Royal Highness Prince Felix of Luxembourg, His Royal Highness Prince Louis of Luxembourg and Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra of Luxembourg attended the 2022 Stand, Speak, Rise Up Charity Gala. Established in 2019 by the Grand Duchess, the Stand, Speak, Rise Up Charity Gala raised money to support victims of, quote, violence and war rape. In Monacoville, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco received letters of credence from newly appointed ambassadors to Monaco at the Palais Princière. The newly appointed ambassadors are from the Republic of Mali, the United Arab Emirates, and the Republic of Panama, to name a few. Yesterday afternoon in Port Hercule, His Highness Sheikh Nasir bin Hamad al-Khalifa of Bahrain and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al Khalifa of Bahrain signed a memorandum of understanding with the Yacht Club de Monaco in the presence of His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco. According to the newspaper News of Bahrain, a quote, memorandum of understanding was signed between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Principality of Monaco, aimed at attracting the Yacht Club de Monaco in the field of developing and regulating harbors and yachts. End quote. Prior to signing the Memorandum of Understanding, His Highness and the Sovereign Prince held a meeting whereupon discussions focused on a number of issues, including bilateral relations between Bahrain and Monaco. In Amman, 
His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan and his fiance Miss Rajwa Khalid bin Musad bin Saif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saif, accompanied by His Royal Highness Prince Hassan bin Talal of Jordan, visited the founding King Abdullah I collective suite and the office of His Majesty the late King Hussein of Jordan at the Royal Covenant at the Royal Palace. The various exhibitions on display at the Royal Covenant showcase the rich and fascinating history of the Royal Hashemite family, beginning with Sharif Hussein bin Ali to the late His Majesty King Hussein of Jordan. After the tour of the Royal Covenant, the Crown Prince took to social media, stating, quote, There is no better destiny than Uncle Hassan when it comes to the history of our precious Jordan and our Hashemite heritage. A tour with Rajwa in the founding King's Collectible Ward and the office of the Albani King in the Hashemite Royal Court. End quote. In Muscat, His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq al Said of Oman received letters of credence from newly appointed ambassadors to Oman at Al Baraka Palace. The newly appointed ambassadors are from the Arab Syrian Republic the chairman of the Transitional Sovereignty Council of the Republic of Sudan, the People's Republic of Bangladesh, the Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal, the Republic of Kenya, the State of Kuwait, and the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, to name a few. During the presentation of Letters of Credence, the ambassadors conveyed greetings and best wishes of their country's leaders to His Majesty the Sultan and to the Omani people. Meanwhile, it was announced that His Highness Sayyid Thiazin bin Haitham al Sayyid of Oman, in his capacity as the Minister of Culture, Sports, and Youth, will attend the celebration of the Women's Club for Sports and Cultural Creativity on the occasion of the 2022 Omani Women's Day, as well as the inauguration of the club's identity and logo held at the Majan Hall at Al Bustan Palace on Wednesday. The celebration will be followed by the opening of the two-day symposium entitled Women's Symposium for Sports and Cultural Creativity. In Bangkok, Their Majesties King Rama X and Queen Satara of Thailand, accompanied by Her Royal Highness Princess Avira Vanavari of Thailand, attended the Royal Kathan Ceremony held at the Temple of Wat Pho. In Windsor, her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, presided over an investiture ceremony at Windsor Castle. This morning, the Princess Royal presented actor Mr. Daniel Craig with the Order of St. Michael and St. George, the same honor held by his character, James Bond, in recognition of his outstanding contribution to film and theater. In East London, their Majesties King Charles III and the Queen Consort of the United Kingdom visited Project Zero. Project Zero is an organization that encourages young people to, quote, engage in positive activities, promote social inclusion, reduce antisocial slash offending behavior, and strengthen community cohesion, end quote. Project Zero offers a wide range of activities, from training in coding and music production to creative arts activities and boxing. During today's visit, Their Majesties toured the facility of Project Zero, met with staff, volunteers, and hundreds of young people active in the organization. If you're interested in learning more about Project Zero and the amazing things that they do, in the description box below, I will leave a direct link to the organization's official website. In Berlin, Their Majesties King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia of Spain continued their state visit to Germany. This morning, His Majesty the King attended a working breakfast meeting with representatives from various Spanish and German companies based in Berlin. Later, His Majesty the King, accompanied by the Spanish Foreign Minister, as well as the President of the Federal Republic of Germany, Mr. Frank Walter Steinmeier, and German billionaire businesswoman and philanthropist, Ms. Liz Mohn, participated in the 2022 German-Spanish Forum. The Forum is a, quote, bilateral exchange platform between Germany and Spain, organized by the Bertelsmann Foundation in cooperation with the various Spanish project partners, 
end quote. Later in the morning, His Majesty the King visited German Parliament, where he was warmly welcomed by the President of the German Parliament, Ms. Berbel Boss. During his visit, His Majesty the King signed the Book of Honor and held a meeting with President Boss. Meanwhile, Her Majesty Queen Letizia of Spain viewed the temporary exhibition entitled Write All Their Names, held at the Palais Popular. The exhibition, curated by Ms. Lola Martinez, head of the Performing and Intermediate Arts Collection at the Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia, showcases, quote, Spanish female avant-garde from 1960 to the present. The works presented are located at the interface between art, language, writing, and abstraction. At the same time, the exhibition highlights a cultural connection between Germany and Spain. End quote. Prior to noon, their majesties visited the Berlin City Hall, where they were warmly welcomed by the mayor of Berlin. During their tour of the City Hall, their majesties signed the Golden Book. Thereafter, their majesties visited the famous Brandenburg Gate. Later in the day, their majesties, accompanied by President Steinmeier and First Lady Elke, arrived in Frankfurt to attend the opening of the 2022 Frankfurt Book Fair. In the evening, their majesties attended a reception held in their honor and hosted by President Steinmeier and First Lady Elke. I just love saying her name. <laughs> And finally, in Trondheim, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Haakon of Norway attended the opening of the 10th edition of the SIKT conference held at the NTNU at Glosshauen. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Wednesday, October 19th with all the latest royal news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful Tuesday evening and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.